Today, every day, small cap investors visit Agoracom knowing this is the day to discover the world's next great company, to have their dreams come true. That's why I take to the open road, to find them, to tell their stories, to engage them, to bring them to life. Because they want to connect with you from your office, your phone, your home, anywhere. Agoracom, find your dream. Welcome to Beyond the Press Release, a production of Agoracom in which we take the time to speak with small cap executives about recent important news at their companies. With us today, I'm happy to have for the first time with Gratomic is Sheldon Inwintoff, your chairman and co-CEO of Gratomic. The company trades on the TSX Venture Exchange on the stock symbol G-R-A-T, GRAT, and for our friends in Europe on Frankfurt under CB81. Now, for those of you who are new to the Gratomic story, and that is going to be a lot of you, Gratomic has a strategic plan to establish the first vertically integrated graphite to graphene to mass market product company. Now, that sounds like the story a lot of you have heard before. We've heard that dance but more than just lip service, the company has announced that they're launching the Gratomic Tire later this year. That's thanks to an agreement they have with Perpetuous Carbon Technologies to develop and market material enhancing graphenes. Sheldon, welcome to the show. Thanks. Great to be here, George. All right. Well, you know, this first part, graphite, graphene to mass market product. We've heard a lot of that story before. No one in the small cap space has been able to deliver how big is this news for Gratomic? Well, it's, uh, it's, the news is the culmination of a, of a lot of work in, in a stealth mode over the last uh, 18 months. Uh, people have to realize that graphene was really only discovered or invented as uh, probably the most advanced material of our time in 2004. And it's a big hurdle to develop. And uh, basically, it's taken years for development. So. Uh, a lot of uh, the arm waving, I think, has been premature because it was never tested. It was really in the form of a science project. Uh, we have preferred to stay very stealth because of that. There's always been questions and issues about, A, the quality of the graphite and what it was going to be used for, and then the technologies that create, create graphene. Everyone knows that there are thousands of applications. Many of them won't be commercialized in our lifetime but we have tested and felt comfortable enough as well as our partner to uh, enter in a joint venture agreement, uh, a precursor to commercial production uh, this year. Yeah, and that commercial production, which is big when I saw this press release, is the Gratomic tire. Uh, why tires, first of all? What kind of testing and process did you go through to get here? And how big do you expect the market for it? the Gratomic tire to be? Well, we feel that the tires are the best first mover for us. Uh, a lot of uh, the other applications are very important, uh, but the world is not ready for them. And in many cases, uh, the amount of quantities of graphenes are, are not that large. The, car the carbon fiber in a tire and the carbon black, it's, it's, the tires are changing today. The addressable market is approximately $200 billion. And there's an interest on the behalf of the tire industry, so a pull to input our, to, uh, our graphenes into their elastomers and create performance enhanced tires that last, great, last very long, uh, you know, it's the hardest material known to man, l less in the flat tire category and just a much better product, especially in the high performance field. We feel the addressable market could be as much as $200 billion. And uh, that's, that, that's a great place to start for us. There's a quote, and I'm going to take an excerpt from, from, from the press release, but I found this, this excerpt to be very telling. Our graphene-enhanced tire tread significantly outperforms a comparative size but more expensive premier branded tire. So is it fair to say that tells me, you've, A, you've gone through extensive testing, and B, do you have even – a partner on the tire side, uh, you know, a, a potential partner over there as well that you're working with? Well, we're, our partner Perpetuous uh, is an expert in the field of graphenes. Uh, let me say that I think all the expertise has, has originally centered around the University of Manchester and into Wales, and that's where we are. 
Our partner Perpetuous has over 500 customers testing their graphenes. They have also tested every graphite in the world because you need a, you need a certain type of graphite and ours has been considered the best uh, for the applications that they have with their end customers. So the testing has been across the board. In terms of tires, there are a number of uh, end user customers that have been testing gratomic graphite to graphene tires through Perpetuous um, over the last 12 to 18, uh, 15 months, I'll say. Wow. And uh, the confidence we have in the feedback uh, and the direction of the value proposition of using our graphene with those customers has reached a very high level. Is this the kind of tire that we're going to see, you know, on the on, on store shelves or in auto, auto marts in the next 12 months? Or are you going more towards the commercial side, you know, for big, uh, you know, big tractors and things like that? Well, there's multiple. Uh, it's a good question. There are multiple verticals uh, in the tire industry. Um, the areas that we've done a lot of work on are the uh, are, are, are bicycle tires, motorcycle tires, uh, military tires. Um, as well as high performance pr uh, race tires. If you're in a Grand Prix race and you know you have a lower likelihood of getting a flat tire or because of the way that the treads uh, and the graphene are intertwined, you hug the road better, uh, you have less fuel consumption, the tires last longer. So certainly in the high performance competitive world, it's gonna be a highly sought after uh, tire. We then plan to go to the aftermarket where uh, people want to change their tires or they need to change their tires. And then we'll slowly bleed in through, we think ultimately will be multiple offtake agreements for many different types of tires. But uh, we want to show the performance first and people can see for a fact. Our graphene and our graphite, I believe is the only one that has been tested by third parties, independent of our claims, i.e. universities and customers, patent attorneys, because we're patented, uh, to verify uh, the superiority of our product. So uh, the customers have recognized that and the, tr the truth is where the rubber hits the road. Pardon, yeah, pardon the pun there. <laughs> Were you waiting for, you, you're waiting to throw that line in there somewhere. It has to. Uh, let's talk about Perpetuous. You know, Perpetuous Technologies is, is your partner here, and we don't know a whole lot about them. What made them the great partner for you to reach out to and, and work with on not just this application, but it looks like many applications going forward? Well, I, there's a special individual there. His name's Ian Walters, has spent about 15 years already in this whole, whole space, developing plasma work, working around graphenes, uh, one of the very early, I'll call him scientists, uh, he doesn't call himself a scientist, uh, but a, a great innovator, one of the great innovators of our time. And he basically, some of it, it's a whole story, evolved and found a niche that was not necessarily where he was heading and realized that he had created this plasma reactor that metamorphosizes the graphite into a product that is absolutely amazing. And so he has a long history. He, he does a lot of lecturing or speaking on the subject. He's considered an authority. Um, we visited there many times. He, he runs an impeccable shop. He's got R&D. He's, he's got development. And now uh, we are partnering on commercial production. So we feel we have the best partner that there is out there today. And, um, they, are pri and they are private. So private companies that are non-commercial yet rarely are known in, to, in the public space. Before we go to my last question, I want to touch a little bit on, since you, since you brought that up, that Ian, um, it's clear from the press release you're looking at going into other markets. And I'm going to, again, read an excerpt. We're also exploring options to exploit polymer composites, energy capture, and storage applications markets. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because you've mentioned the press release, or is it too premature to talk about where you might be going next? Well, you know, one can talk where they want to go, but we're very focused. We want to execute. The tire market is massive, and the tire market will consume our resources. But uh, our product, and if one has, one has to study uh, graphene to understand 
the game changer, uh, uh, game changing applications that it has. And um, Perpetuous, as I mentioned, has over 500 customers, including NASA, for example. A lot of research is being done, and there are multiple other verticals outside the elastomer market where the performance and the cost economics of inputting graphene is superior to anything currently. Um, these may be part of our pipeline, but really it's premature to even talk about that at the moment. I got to admit, I like that about you, Sheldon, because you know there's been a lot of hype in the graphite graphene space for years, and people talk about these applications and medical and science and all that, and it hasn't come through. So the fact that even though I'm trying to you know get you to expand, the fact that you're staying focused on the on the tire and executing there, I think says a lot about the culture that uh, obviously you guys, along with Perpetuous, are going to uh, are going to carry on here. So last question, the last unsung hero in this equation is your uh, Occam graphite mine in Namibia. I mean, for for years we're all told that the best graphite was was came from Sri Lanka, and and I'm sure that was true. But what does this achievement say about you know your Occam graphite uh, graphite mine in Namibia and the and what you've got there? Well, uh, it, it's a good question because there are a lot of graphite uh, mines in the world, uh, though, and 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 graphite's a, a plentiful a plentiful material as a raw material and a natural earth material. And uh, you know, people talk about flake graphite. We are what they call lump graphite, and the way that our partner explains it, the crystallinity is, is, is very unique. Uh, we, we have a soft graphite that really allows for um, the manipulation and process that goes into making graphene. So, uh, and in addition, our, our property is massive. Uh, we're a vein system, so it's almost very, it's very low cost for us to mine. We follow the vein. The product uh, input is extremely consistent and as it relates to the end product graphene. And our partner, uh, which is all we can bank on, has tested everyone else and, and ranks us uh, superior. So uh, he also was looking for a source of supply that was consistent in uh, volumes as well as consistent in quality. And Sri Lanka, is very good and probably the best uh, or the best you know the best depends on the application to tell you the truth but many of the mines are extremely deep uh, the veins are narrowing uh, a lot of it's done by hand um, there will be more mines probably come on but it's it's uh, it's it's not a reliable source for a hundred percent of your needs so you know we will be the primary supplier and uh, and we're very happy about that. And I guess my final my final uh, point about graphene for sure. people that that may be uh, thinking of investing in it. There's been a lot of hype and and a lot of reality that you know blockchain is coming to our world and you know it is going to be extremely disruptive. So blockchain is going to be disruptive for the digital industry. I would say in the same way that graphene will be disruptive in the physical world. And that's a perfect way to end it right there. I mean, uh, uh, if for everyone at home that's watching, if you don't know Sheldon, you know, you, Sheldon, you've had a couple of billion dollar plus equi uh, exits, a couple of, five, you know, a couple of in the sub billion, but in the hundred million, hundred million dollar exits. So you don't take these kind of endeavors lightly. You've obviously dealt into this very deeply. Uh, last comments to you about, you know, what your vision is. You've obviously moved Gratomic along very quickly in the last 18 months. You know, if, if everything went well, no hype or anything like that, but what is your vision of the company in the next two to three years? Well, we hope to be a high growth company and execute on our objectives. All right. We'll leave it Stay at that. Tuned. We'll Stay be sure tuned. to have you on because I'm sure you're going to have other news uh, going forward, uh, with, especially with respect to Gratomic Tire, and I look forward to the day when I can actually have a Gratomic Tires on my car. We all do. Thanks, You've been George. Sheld Sorry, go ahead. Thanks. You've been watching Sheldon Inventosh. He's chairman and co-CEO of Gratomic Inc. The company trades on the TSX Venture Exchange on the stock symbol GRAT. That's GRAT. And for our friends in Europe on Frankfurt under CB81. 
You now know the company is going towards commercial production. You've got people like Sheldon behind it. You've got this great company, Perpetuous, behind it. You've got this fantastic mind. I urge all of you, you've got to do your due diligence because we've heard a lot of things about the graphite and graphene space over the years. And we finally have a small cap company that's commercializing and going to deliver. How big that's going to be, where that's going to go, that's where you got to do your due diligence. But we now have in front of us, don't say we didn't tell you so, get to Agoracom, read the company's profile, watch this interview again, and ask your questions right there. Get your answer from us and the company. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Have a great day. See you soon.